Over my shoulder that way, we see the grid and maze pattern that is the mother city. It's a set and sequence of roads and a network which somehow fits together so perfectly. Well, it's the festive season, or it's just been. We're now into a brand new year, and the question's always posed to me at the end of each year, what kind of vehicle do you want to take with you on a journey to spend those adventures with, quality family time, do you want a large SUV, or do you want a compact car? What about something which compromises all of them? Something which has the catch line, beauty in motion? Well, I've spent the last couple of weeks driving that, the Honda Fit. It's the all new Jazz replacement, takes on the famous nameplate, and I was at its SA Media launch. So I've driven it in its hybrid format. Now I've spent a couple of weeks here in this petrol driven variant. And I must say, it is the perfect balance between a compact city car with tons of space practicality, as well as efficiency, quality, and just the ultimate car to spend time with. So let's jump into it now, see what I've enjoyed about it, see some of the features, and spend a bit of time taking a look at my long-term test car, Honda's all-new fit. down congested streets as we got at the moment, soaring summer temperatures and the joys or sometimes the inconveniences of the festive season. Gives me a little bit of time to speak to you guys here and reflect on my last couple of weeks driving this, my seasonal long-termer, the Honda Fit. Now that catch line, beauty in motion, I think sums it up perfectly. On the outside, it's fresh, it's new, it's modern, it's typically much in keeping with Honda's old nameplate, the Jazz, yet it's bigger, it's wider, and you can see it's a refreshed new product. What you can also feel immediately when you drive this latest vehicle from the brand is the build quality, the level and attention to detail. You see it's a Japanese built car, this fit, and it's not only incredibly practical in terms of the Japanese packaging, the origami, using clever ways to influence spaces, Take this windscreen for instance, as I come down this mountain pass I've got a commanding view of the city and it's perhaps one of the best views you'll have but enhanced by this large windscreen area with these extra side portion panels here that just make it almost like my scuba diving mask. Incredibly, incredibly practical. You can literally see all around. It gives you a full on vision which you simply don't get in a lot of compact cars. And that's just the beginning here. Apart from the space in terms of the interior, the way everything's packaged. I've got secret little compartments here, a clever little storage compartment above the cubbyhole. I've got a pad here to rest my phone, USBs there to charge it, digital instrumentation cluster in front of me, and the center screen, which we'll get onto in a second. I've also got a central bin here, cup holders throughout, USBs at the back, and we get a lot in the way of space in terms of the rear, the boot luggage load area, and of course, Honda's magic seats, everything you need for a long distance family trip or that seasonal drive, whether it be to the beach or to a mountain trail as I've just come from the moment. As interior cabin spaces go, this is a very good implementation of one in my opinion. These seats are sublimely comfortable. I love the material inserts, the way it's put together, the comfort in here. Then you get this wide commanding view and up front of me I got a digital instrumentation cluster, small but clear and practical. I've got my climate controlled air conditioning here. I've got USBs, a perfect place to place my mobile phone there. Cup holders here in the cabin, cup holders there. A little neat compartment up here. A cubby hole below that, which is large. You just got so much in the way of space and practicality. But this car is also all about clever modern thinking. So apart from the digital instrumentation cluster, I've got Honda's latest multimedia interface here at the center. Now it's neat. It's clear and it's very functional. It's these large tiles, very, very high definition, works incredibly well. 
you can jump into apps you got your telephone fm am radio here bluetooth trip computer you name it all displayed but what i find really clever is in the festive season you get bored you're sitting waiting it's traffic you're waiting around at the side of the road while people get dressed after going to the beach you name it it's a lot of situations well if i jump into my android auto i got my phone connected here of course i got a ton of different streaming sources synced like waze youtube music here i've got uh weather vlc player tune in radio you name it it's all synced but what about this i got something here which has built-in games thanks to Android Auto. And while getting bored at the side of the road, there's nothing wrong with turning the sound up on a little bit of this Canon game here and having a little bit of fun. Just one of the little fun touches. So what this makes for is a great overall interior. Spacious, practical and comfortable. Honda's magic seats, tons of space in the boot and tons of space and vision seated up front here. Now I have driven the Honda Fit with, with the brand new hyper-electric motor and it's excellent, it's silent, it's incredibly efficient. But the one I have spent a lot of time with here is the 1.5 litre naturally aspirated four-cylinder petrol driven engine. Now this is the full-on petrol equivalent and I must tell you it's equally as impressive. Over the last couple of weeks I've pushed this car over 10,000 kilometres on the odometer and with driving on highway, with driving around the city, with driving with people, driving with a car loaded, driving like this by myself on a mountain pass, you name it, I've just found it so incredibly smooth and practical. Firstly, the efficiency is excellent. I've averaged about 6.2 liters per hundred with largely urban driving and the car packed with goods. Now that's very impressive. You also find the suspension setup is supple and engaging. The car feels planted, it feels solid on the road, and most importantly, perhaps, feels incredibly well built and like a real lasting product. Now that's something Honda's always said to me when it comes to their brand. It's something that's a vision that I've always had of their brand is they build solid lasting quality products. But spending time with this latest fit, it just concretes the image of the brand. If you want a vehicle which offers reliability and practicality, it's job done here. So finally, would I buy a car like this? Now I've spent a couple of weeks driving it I've seen what it's really like to live with. Is it a car I'd put my money in? Is it a car I'd buy? Well, in short, yes, absolutely. Because yes, I love large, flashy SUVs as much as I love a good sports car. But if you want something which ticks all the boxes, it's hugely practical. Those magic seats, the large luggage load area, as well as this incredibly spacious interior, yet it's compact urban type body makes this the perfect runaround i got a backing up camera when it comes to reversing into tight spots. I've got Apple's CarPlay and Android Auto, a digital instrumentation cluster up ahead, as well as keyless go and entry. There are storage compartments, cup holders, and just little practical touches throughout. And really what they've put together here is a vehicle which offers the complete package. So yes, if you ask me, is there any other car I'd like to have driven or spend time in the festive season, while a whole list of them would come to mind, the one which I could say hand on heart really covers them all is this Honda Fit. It's been an excellent companion and one which I can honestly, honestly recommend. From me, Jason of Technobark, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now.